good afternoon, Crafty Pete. So we are starting on page two. We've already finished um, page one. So basically, let me let you know that I used, um, I'm trying to use up some of my scraps of paper. And so I'm just trying to kind of like use color coordinating papers um, to kind of get, you don't need to go all the way down below because you're going to be, this is going to be a pocket page right here. Um, and there's going to be more parts to this page, but we're going to start off with the pockets. You're going to need three strips of paper that are going to be 10 and 3 eighths by three and a half. Okay. And since we're on the three and a half side, anyway, you're going to score whoops, at a half inch. Okay. Then you're going to turn it back to the 10 and 3 eighth inch side. We're going to score at a half inch, one inch, nine and three eighths, and then ten, I mean nine and seven eighths, okay? So nine and seven eighths, nine and three eighths, one inch and a half inch, okay? And then what I did is I basically folded it in half just right at the top, and this is where I'm going to put my little divot in, get out my We Are Memories Keeper Punch, and line it up, and it's actually at the six and one eighth inch uh, spot right there. That's where you're gonna punch it, okay? So if that makes it easier for you, instead of folding in a half, that's probably, it probably is, don't let me lie. Okay, so then, what I want you to do is go ahead and do a little diagonal like this and like that. Okay. And then again, we're going to do kind of like the accordion fold, fold it all the way up and then this one back, burnish that in real good. Same thing, fold in and all the way back and then here. And don't worry if you have like a little folding line there, you're going to be covering that anyway with a strip of paper. Okay. And your pattern paper for these pockets are going to be eight and a quarter inch by um, two and seven eighths. So two and seven eighths by eight and a quarter inch. Okay. So, and then you'll have to repunch those as well um, in the center so that it lines up properly. Um, okay, so I've already got one ready to go. And I'm going to start off by gluing the bottom portion. Okay. And I'm just going to be honest with you, it is probably easier to paper these with the pattern cardstock before adding your additional pockets, okay? So um, I will probably go ahead and do that now. Go ahead and apply those after you put on this first one, okay? Just do it to all three, and then you won't have to worry about it. Um, but this one, I'm not going to lay it down yet. So let me cut these real quick and I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. So I'm ready. Um, I'm going to go ahead and glue this one down. Okay. And I was going to try to like stack these and then I changed my mind. I just don't like the bulk that it gives when they're stacked on top of each other. So I'm going to give that little bit of space in between each one of these. I'm going to show you in just a second how we're going to do that. Okay. And then on this one, I'm going to get make sure I get my bottom here. And I'm just going to do that part first, okay? I'm just going to line it up. Just slide it down a little bit. 
and burnish it in. And lift it back a little bit to wipe off any excess glue. And then now we can continue on adding our glue to the hinges. It's time for me to get out a new bottle, but I'm trying to use every last inch of this. <laughs> I know you all know what I mean on that one. Okay. Again, line it up there. Wipe off any excess glue and burnish it in. And then I'm going to do the third one off screen because you'll kind of already get an idea of what I mean. So we have these little expandable pockets that's perfect for your recipe cards. Okay, so I'll be back in just a second to the second part of this uh, page too, okay? Okay, so I did want to let you know that you may, it's up to you. Um, I just wanted to use this as an extra pocket to hold smaller little recipe things, you know, like that you cut out from a magazine. Um, because it's not really going to fit your larger recipe cards, but of course these two definitely will. So that's up to you. You could either leave it off, then of course you have your decorative paper underneath, or you can just leave it on there and use it for the same thing that I am. Okay, so we're going to continue on with this tutorial. Okay, so we're going to make two flaps. The first flap is going to be on the right hand side or the right hand inside, okay? So you're going to need a sheet of paper that is 12 inches by eight and seven eighths, okay? And then you're going to score at a half inch and then you're going to score again at five eighths. Okay, so a half inch, five eighths, and then eight and seven eighths. And then it will fold over like so. Okay, and then we're going to attach this to the inside of our pocket page. So this little piece right there. So let me go ahead and get my glue ready. And I'm going to make sure to get enough glue on there. And if you don't want to have any um, center pages or mats, you could at this point go ahead and seal this up. Um, and I haven't decided yet on whether or not I'm going to have mats. So I usually do. Let me scoot this down just a tad. Maybe too late. I may have pressed it too soon. Anyway, so I'm going to go inside here with my bone folder. Let me flip it over. And burnish it in real good. Okay. Make sure it's even. It looks good. And it's ready. So now I'm going to need a magnet right here. So let me get my magnets out. Whoops. Okay. And I'm just going to glue it on the inside right here. Just one of them at this moment. Okay. Whoa. Okay. And then I can now attach my magnet for the top. Okay. And so now that I know where approximately it's going to be, I can add my glue and then a little bit of washi tape to keep it in place. Okay. Now, 
for my second page. My second flap, shall I say. This one is going to be on, coming in on the left hand side. You're going to need a sheet of paper that is nine inches by eight and seven eighths, okay? And then you're going to score again at a half inch and five eighths, okay? Then you're going to score it into place to make your little fold. And then again, we're going to attach this side, okay? Just making sure everything is right. Looking good. Awesome. So now I can go ahead and add my glue. I always test it first. You're just going to want to make sure that it is lined up. Just identical to this side, okay? Now I'm not going to press down yet because I want to make sure it's lined up and it is. Now I can press down on the inside of my flap. Make sure it does not glue down or you will not be able to get it on your hinge. Okay, so now this side, okay, is actually going to be the part that goes on your hinge, all right? And this is awfully thick. I'm just letting you know that now. Now I want to go ahead and I'm going to need two more magnets. And you want to make sure that these magnets are far away from the other ones. Okay, otherwise it will try to fight off each other. I'm just going to kind of center it. And use my washi tape. Got all this glue like everywhere. There we go. Let it snap right into place. And that is it for page two. Now all you have to do is paper it. And I'll be back. Okay, so this concludes page two. I just want to show you it decorated. Um, I decided to use just a solid piece of cardstock um, so that I wouldn't have to, um, you know, use up all my pattern paper. But I definitely would suggest getting some authentic spectrum paper or um, some of the Echo Park. Um, they have some, you know, solid color cardstock too as well. So anyway, um, I'll be back with page three.